Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this Don Miguel's The Bomb Burrito. This one is the beef bean and cheese sauce. Um, beef bean and cheese sauce burrito. And it says it has green green chili in it. Uh, we bought these at a, it's a BP station. It was called Skyline BP. It was $4.19. Um, but it is three quarters of a pound burrito. They come frozen but the directions actually have them uh, thawed. So I just stuck it in the refrigerator overnight. Um, let's see. It's 240 calories for the entire burrito and there's your other info. So to heat this up in the microwave, you're going to uh, open one end of the wrapper, leave the thawed burrito inside. That's where I, that's why I thawed it out. Place on a microwave safe dish. Um, heat for one minute, flip over and heat an additional one minute. Flip over and heat an additional 30 seconds. Let it stand for one minute and carefully remove uh, from wrapper and enjoy. So one minute, flip it over one minute, flip it over again in 30 seconds and it's ready to go. So I'm gonna get this in the microwave and I'll be right back. Okay, it's had its time uh, flipping and flipping again and flipping again. Um, I'm just gonna cut this package open. It's a little bit easier to get into. Okay, it looks, um, I'm just gonna leave it on the plastic just to to make it a little easier. So I'm gonna cut this, just see what's inside. Good size burrito, I do have to say that. Quite a bit of filling. Um, I was thinking though, um, well, I'll, I'll talk about it when I get over the table, but these are these are sold in a convenience store, frozen, uh, but the directions are for thawed, so I don't, I don't know, it seems a little weird. Yeah, pretty full, pretty, pretty full burrito. The, the tortilla is a little soft though. So I'm gonna cut this into like smaller, like bite-sized pieces and uh, take it over the table. I'll be back when I get ready. All right, I gave it just a minute to cool off and I cut it into these, um, I got a fork, just made it easier. Life is easier. Uh, that's a really big bite. Let me get a smaller bite. There we go. That's a small, I can deal with that one. There we go. Very hot. I tried to cut it to let it chill out and cool off a little bit, but ooh, still pretty, still pretty hot. Um, I think it's the the beans that get really hot and the and the cheese. I wonder what, I wonder what just the filling tastes like. I got some just the filling. The beans are a little. They're not hard, but they're firm. So I wish they were cooked a little bit more to make it a little softer, but um, kind of like a black beans and, and a lot of things are kind of firm. These are kind of like that too. All they, these look like, they're not black beans, they're like pinto beans. It's not a bad burrito at all. Uh, the tortilla, I was worried about the tortilla being like a, a little, um, chewy, uh, but it's not, it's, it's fine. It's, it's a, like a soft tortilla you have in a soft taco. Um, I wonder how the ends are. Usually the folded ends of the taco, or taco, the burritos get really hard and crunchy. These don't look like they did that because that you left them in the package to kind of like keep the steam, but, um, let's try it out and see. Hmm. It actually has a really good texture because the, um, I mean, it's thicker than the other pieces because it's actually like layers and layers of the tortilla laying on top of each other, but it didn't get hard and tough and crunchy like they sometimes get. Overall, this is an okay burrito. I think if you were to go to a, um, to a store and buy it and heat it up for lunch, I think you'd be fine with it. I think it's good. Um, it is big, that's for sure. Um, Flavor-wise, it needs more of something. It needs more flavor. Um, like seasonings or I don't know. There's something that's just kind of missing. It's an okay bean and cheese burrito. And I, I think it's supposed to have beef in there, but I didn't really get, uh, you see it, but you don't really get the flavor of the beef. Um, it needs more seasoning. It needs more oomph. It needs more something. Um, overall, I think the texture is pretty decent. The, um, there's no grittiness from the meat. Like it's ground too tiny or anything like that. It's, it's a decent texture. The beans could be a little bit softer, but that's really, that's a personal thing. Um, 
I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I don't think it's like an awesome burrito, but I don't think it's a bad burrito. It's it's typical of pretty much any other frozen burrito you can get. Although I do like how the ends uh, did say good and tender. They didn't get crunchy and dried out and hard, so that's a good thing. Um, my thing about the thought out though, if you go into the convenience store, this BP station, or any, whatever, this particular one particularly, um, if you were to go in there and buy this, like you're gonna heat it up there in the store, or even take it with you to, to heat it up, they're frozen solid. So and the directions only give you thawed directions. So um, I guess you would have to defrost it for a couple minutes to get it down to, to where it's not frozen anymore, then go follow the directions. So just know that it's not, it may not be an instant thing. It may be a take it, take it in, and thaw it out in your refrigerator overnight and then heat it up the next day. Just, just, let you, just something to think about. So, um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.